Hi all, welcome to this Logic Apps learning video series. In this video, we are going to learn about unit testing for Logic Apps standard workflows. For that, we are going to use unit testing framework given by Microsoft, which is available in this URL. And basically that has two projects in it. One is test framework, which helps uh, us to host our logic apps in a logic in a function apps runtime and test our workflows and test cases folder will contain the unit case unit test cases that we write and based on it uh, yeah, it will use the test framework and test it it has a two dependencies one is installing through an msi of uh, this one uh, azure functions core tools is important and another dependency is .NET uh, Core uh, Test Explorer to the Visual Studio Code uh, so that you can run and debug your unit test cases. The directory structure of the current testing test framework is this way. So we have a sample project of unit test cases that has a folder where we keep our logic apps uh, files so that it will run and it uh, through the test pre test framework and produce the results but we are going to change it to where we keep our logic apps files separately and keep it as a project see as a, as a function apps project and we refer them to the unit test cases project and run testing framework and host our logic apps workflow and run our unit test cases so our directory flow will look like this one LA1 is the actual logic apps folder. It will contain workflows, local settings.json file, and host.json file or parameter. Anything related to logic apps will stay there. We separate the unit test cases in the unit test frame, unit test projects, and we refer the logic apps project into unit test projects and test it. Okay. Now we'll we'll see a short demo. But basically, this uh, I'm I'm planning to put one detailed demo out right after this video. But in this video, I will go through what I have. So, I have opened this project in the Visual Studio Code. Sorry, this is a Visual Studio. I have opened the same project in the Visual Studio as well. So, first we will go through what Logic App workflow we have. I have stateful one workflow and stateless. Let's concentrate on the stateful one. We have three components in it. One is to receive the HTTP uh, response, sorry, the request, and the compose component will produce a JSON message which has code and success. And the same will pass it to the response file. That will be the output of this API. Now let's go to the unit test cases that I have written. Our, our directory workflow is this way. So I have a logic apps folder that I have developed using Visual Studio Code. So that is kept as a separate thing. Now I'm having test cases, the project. So this project has referred LA1 and the test framework as well. So my test cases are this, these things. I have two test cases. One is for stateful and one is for stateless. So statefulness, I will test whether this workflow is successful and it is receiving the correct status code. And the code, uh, what I have, what is the output of this one, out of this API? I'm checking whether it is receiving the success in the JSON file, in the JSON response. Yeah. And I'm checking whether this run status is successful and I'm checking the overall status and then a component level status here action result as well this way so let me run this through the test explorer right click and debug it Here it comes. So while running this test uh, unit test, I am passing 
three parameters. One is the workflow name, another one is the host function, host definition, and the local settings registration file. So while creating this class, right, the workflow test host, I'm pressing F10, it goes here. It is in the test fr test framework itself. It, it's trying to basically host a function app that actually hosts a logic app, right? So here is the inputs I'm getting, local settings that file, parameters none, and host files. And it has a directory, working directory, it will create it. That working directory is this one within the unit test framework, right? The bin folder. So if we go and see, this is the folder that we are trying, we are trying to create the working directory and from here it will try to host it. But if you go to the .NET Core app one, here is the workflows that we have, stateful, stateless, and the local settings file. See, this is the local setting file and host file. All will be copied over from the Logic Apps for Logic Apps folder. So it will create a grid that is a working directory. And let let's keep and let's keep that and see. It will copy over everything here and try to host this directory itself. I'll say press F5. Now you go and see. This is your logic app that trying, you are trying to host it and test it against. Okay. Now it already run few uh, test results. It, so that it say it's saying assert or equal of the status code is okay. So it's compared. It's fine. The status code is too okay. That is even correct. And the third one is whether I'm getting the success from the response. So I'm reading the response and converting them into JSON, J object, and read what is there for the code uh, key. So I'm getting success, so that is even successful. I got the run ID, and I found that the overall flow is succeeded. And I got the run ID. From the run ID, I'm trying to get the component one compose components succeeded status and trying to compare it here. So let's do that as well. Okay, that is done. Only for the stateful uh, com uh, workflow, we will be able to check this one because it uses the storage account to store the state of the uh, workflow. But for the stateless, we will not be able to see the run status or the component level a component level uh, status yeah so it is going to be successful now I'll press F5 so this is successful now the test is passed so this is how we write we write uh, unit test cases for our own application uh, so I will write for the Unit test cases for this one. Let me put a breakpoint. Now I'll go and right click. Just <coughs> sorry, debug it. So in the next video, we are going to see from the scratch how we can um, write a write a unit test cases for for existing logic app. Okay, it came and it is successful as well. There you go. It is passed as well. Okay, again, I'll go to this test framework and I'll go through what it is. So this is the host. Uh, this is the 
class file responsible for hosting function dot cx function dot exe dot exe you see so this is the one so this is where we create the process and the process will be started here so within two minutes time we will see what is the result of it so if it came back then if the if it is a process state started then it will come back and it will say it is started fine then it will go ahead within two minutes if it's not up then the problem will be uh, raised as an exception here so in the test dot environment file there will be few things there are few urls that you can replace it with local host and try give it a try because it will have environment dot machine it which always um, not sure we it will work so that is one thing other, other than that this testing frame test framework can be used as it is and um, for for any for any uh, uh, unit test cases these are uh, these three is given properly and one more thing is let's open this code in the visual studio code and go through this project file yeah the lo la one's project file i uh, i have it here is for function apps one but these steps will say that what are the files should be copied over to the bin directory and these are the workflows i am copying it as well my test framework is uh, default one the test unit tests project file will refer this la1 and uh, test project files and make that work so i hope this helps but in the next video i am going to explain from the scratch how you can uh, start unit testing your logic apps that would be a quite detailed demo